on my youtube friends my bts army friends patreon friends what's going on what do we got man my friend lisa marie hooking me up with, up with the goods today wow hopefully i can talk through this whole thing uh this is bts film out at music blood so this is like a studio live performance if i'm understanding correctly um and uh i got the lyrics on my phone beside me in case i, I want to follow along but like the thing is man the thing is is I appreciate the lyrics and the poetry, and I know that these seven are killer writers, but it's not always what's going to catch my attention. It's just because, like, I have a live background. I just did, like, I do live production, or I did live production for so long that, like, that's, that's like, the stuff that I'm here to break down, right? But I do appreciate it. I do understand that a uh, part of the magic is the like the beautiful writing and everything, too. So I, I do, I don't want to say that I'm, I'm, like, trying to neglect it because it's not what I'm up to. So I got the lyrics beside me in case I need them. And I was reading them already, and they're pretty beautiful. So, um, But uh, like I was saying, I, I do have a live background and a stage management management background. Wow. Wow. This is getting out of hand. This is getting out of hand. Um, so if this is your first time popping by, um, expect some of the live breakdown stuff, some of the mic technique breakdown stuff. We'll see what else is going on in the stage here. But uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Give me the thumbs up. It's the best way to support the channel here on YouTube. If you want to check me out on Patreon, support the cause, support the goods. Or send me your links as well. You can check me out on Patreon. The link's in the description box. Uh, just like my friend Lisa Marie did. My friend Angel's here in the BTS group too. Come on, man. Come on, man. Let me pull this up. Let me pull this up. Um, and let's go. There was like a, there was like almost like a call and answer that happened. And like, you know, if I wasn't watching, I would have said it was like a delay or a production thing, something like that. But you don't need that. You got seven voices, bro. You got seven voices. Let's sing, let's sing these parts together, you know? Like, right there. The, I don't know what the words are. Da, 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 da. You know what I mean? That part, that part. It's like you could do that with a delay, but they did it with two voices because it's cooler, right? <laughs> Give me real, like almost like Simon and Garfunkel vibes in the chords and like the builds. Like I'm thinking, um, uh, the boxer, la la la, and all the like builds and the big voices and stuff. But they do that. It could be a bunch of vocals on the Simon and Garfunkel version too, but it's more like reverby and it's more kind of like effect driven, I think. Where in this, it's just like they have so many layers and so many unison voices versus like the octaves and stuff. Like it's just, it's so fitting. And they're like their control. For singing in like their head voices or letting like breath through or vocal compression and things through where they're controlling like the airflow a little bit like it's so matched even their vibratos feel so matched like it's like a it's like a wave of this chord moving instead of you know multiple voices and stuff like that right like it's, it's this is like tight tight this is really neat really really neat <laughs> Hello. <laughs> 
<laughs> again, man. This time it was a couple voices. It kept, caught me every time. Caught me every time. But like everyone, man, everyone here. Like I, I love, I love hearing my boy Jin's voice. But like everyone has these beautiful head voices, and it's just so controlled, so gentle. You know, and like I think it's kind of hard to tell because all the microphones are like real pimped out. But I think they're like Sennheiser, like the fancy, because I think that's the S, the like nine or whatever series. But they might be like Neumann capsules. Which I think they make Neumann capsules that are kind of like universal. They fit on a lot of these bodies. But either way, they sound really nice. They sound real like gritty. And like I would love to see a behind the scenes of the tech side. Because like I talk lots in some of my other um, videos on the channel about um, vocal chains. So where the microphone goes after this. And it's usually like something called a preamp and a couple compressors and an equalizer and stuff. And I would love to see what's going on here. Because I think these, I think this from like a recording standpoint, from a production standpoint, sounds really, really, really nice. It doesn't sound like wireless microphones. It sounds better than wireless microphones. So I'm, I'm really interested in that. I think the quality of it sounds, I mean, it sounds like what you come to expect with BTS. They're the biggest band in the world, right? So like, it's great. It's great. I'm, I'm so here for it. <laughs> Great ad lib. Da, 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 da. It's just so fitting. It's so fitting. And then, like, with the hip hop stuff, there's so much melody, too. Because, like, and I don't know, man, y'all have to correct me, but, like, of the rappers, I'm assuming they can sing a little bit, man. Like, when you got all this going on around you, I'm assuming you could pick up a, a melody a bit, right? So, to have, like, melodic like rap parts and still so contrasting because like the first rap part was like real low and it was like this drop larynx and like very like low resonance and now we're like almost in like that tenor kind of stage but it's still like hip-hop it's still like rap it's still very melodic though right like it's neat it's very neat and it's cool because like i saw the we talked about the um the autotune thing in the last one and like i guess they were using autotune which is cool which is cool right like i i think it's I think it's good when you can prove that you don't need it, but you use it as like a texture thing. Um, and in this case, they could be doing that too, but they don't need to because everyone's, again, so talented, right? I'm, I'm, try I'm not trying not to blow smoke, but it's just, it's fun to talk about. So that ad lib comes back as like a harmony. Great, great, great. <laughs> Like, it's just, it's perfect. It's perfect. Like, and they're not even looking at each other. And they, they probably have click tracks, probably have everything going on. It's perfect. It's, it doesn't change the fact. It's perfect. <laughs> I didn't want that to end. I didn't want that to end. The back and forth at the end was great. Like the the singing like almost at each other. And then like the harmonies together, man. Like, come on. Come on. I need another minute and a half of this. The stage is cool too. Stage is cool too. Great performance. Great performance. Like very, very, very much like a demonstration. Like that back half, I was kind of a little bit stuck. Kind of forgot I was reacting for a second. But like... It's just perfect. It's just beautiful. And they're like going back and forth. Everyone gets like their moment. It's not too flashy, but it's tasty. It's it's like it's very like capacity driven. It just it just feels like there's a ton of rehearsal. Like a ton of natural talent that rehearsed really hard. You know what I mean? Y'all know what I mean?
But my friends, I love this one. I love all this live studio stuff. I appreciate this. My friend Lisa Marie, BTS Army. See everyone again soon.